Hello, quick test today. I've got the Sofern IF25A, and this is a question that comes up. I do see it in forums quite often. You know, if you use different types of batteries in this flashlight, does it actually produce uh, higher brightness on the 30T or the 40T compared to uh, the stock cell that's included, the Sofern 4000 milliamp hour cell? So um, I've run through this test already a couple of times. I just want to do it and film it on camera. I didn't find a different difference between the three cells, not a significant difference anyway. Um, they all sort of hit around the 600 and something mark. But um, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to do a quick ceiling bounce test. I've got a little area to the left uh, of the table that I've just marked out. And um, I'm going to put in the 30T first and we'll see how we go. So I'll turn off this light. So these cells are completely charged. And I'm going to reset this meter on my phone sensor. And let's go. Turbo. So 683. 683. That's the number to beat. And that's with the Samsung uh, 30T. Keep in mind, this isn't a professional meter or anything like that. It's just my phone. So there's probably going to be some inaccuracies there. This is just to get a general guide. Um, I was hoping to see quite a significant difference, um, given that I've read some reviews showing that um, apparently on the 30T produces 4,200 lumens, but on the stock cell produces 3,000 lumens on turbo. But I haven't seen the difference so far. Let's go ahead. This is the 40T. Uh, reset that, and the number to beat is 683. Okay, 685. 685. Uh, let's try again. Yep, so that's with the Samsung 40T. Um, very similar, very, very similar. Okay, so 685, let's reset the stats again. And this is the Sofern cell that comes with the flashlight. Apparently it's one of the Leafen branded cells that also has a um, draw capacity of 35 amps. So let's go do this one more time. And 684 so it's very similar i don't see a difference i mean according to this ceiling bounce test and of course the sensor that's in my phone perhaps the sensor's not um, sensitive enough to pick it up that's one possibility however even with this desk lamp that i have uh, connected above at the moment when i low, lower the brightness very very slowly it still picks up minute differences so i do think based on these tests that there's not really much of a difference between the three cells all right, so lights back on, and it does appear that there's not really any noticeable difference, not to my eye anyway, and according to the figures from the ceiling bounce test between the three different cells. Of course, it could be due to the sensor in my phone. Um, it could be due to a whole bunch of things. Maybe the driver is more efficient. Uh, maybe they've included a new driver, or maybe the chemistry of the cells. I'm not sure whether they've just improved the efficiency of the cells over the years. Um, I don't really have any other light that produces uh, that 4,000 lumens to be able to compare it to. So there you have it. That's just my quick little test, and I hope that was helpful for you.